Hi, I'm Brian Nealon, group president here at DISH. We appreciate you choosing us as your TV provider and for giving me a moment of your time to explain what's happening with your channels owned by the Walt Disney Company. For many months now, we have been working in partnership with Disney on renewing our contract that would allow us to continue carrying their channels like ESPN, Disney Channel, Freeform, National Geographic, ABC, and others. Unfortunately, we were not able to come to a mutual agreement with Disney, and without a contract in place, we are legally required to remove their channels from your service. We wanted to avoid this interruption to your service. We offered Disney a contract extension to keep working towards an agreement, but they refused this offer. Disney, like many other channel owners, knowingly used this contract renewal time to try and increase the amount of money cable and satellite companies like DISH and ultimately you pay for their programming. And sadly, this isn't the first time Disney has leveraged this aggressive tactic of removing their channels from pay TV providers. Not too long ago, they took their channels away from YouTube TV and they have threatened to do the same with many other providers in the past, including AT&T, DirecTV, Verizon Fios, and Altice Cable. Their hope by doing this, they want you to get upset and ultimately contact DISH to put pressure on us to accept their higher rates. Now, let me explain what Disney is asking for from DISH and ultimately you. They are demanding DISH and you pay nearly a billion dollars more for the same channels that you are enjoying today. A recent quote from their CEO sums it all up. Their linear networks, such as ESPN, ABC, and Freeform, are huge cash generators for Disney. But Disney Plus, their streaming service, mm. is not. Look, we know many people subscribe to and actually enjoy Disney Plus. We just don't think it's fair that Disney is asking us and you to pay significantly higher rates in order to help subsidize their unprofitable streaming service. Our commitment is to stand up for you, our customer. And because the increase they are asking for affects you directly, we feel strongly about fighting for a fair rate to ensure you get the best possible value from DISH. Disney is an important long-term partner for us, and we continue to have active conversations with them. As our goal and priority is to reach a fair agreement and to bring back their channels as quickly as possible, we hope that they feel the same way. Now, I hope this helps you understand our perspective, and we encourage you to reach out to the Walt Disney Company to learn more about theirs. All their contact information can be found on dishpromise.com, and please visit dishpromise.com for any updates on this contract renewal. We appreciate you as a customer, and we value our long-term partnership with the Walt Disney Company. We will be in touch with future updates as we have them. Hello, I'm Christina. Do you ever go to one of your TV channels and not see your programming? Ever wonder why that happens? Ever get mad about it? Here's what I've learned. As you probably know, cable and satellite TV companies sign contracts with all the broadcasters. The broadcasters send their signal to cable and satellite companies, and that company delivers a signal to your house, sort of like a mailman. TV companies have to get permission from the station's owner to retransmit their signal. Sometimes when the broadcasters and the TV providers get into negotiations, mm -hmm. the broadcasters take away the signal. It's a power move on their part. They may even do this if the channel they want more money for isn't a local channel. That's right, the broadcasters think they can hold local channels hostage to get higher rates on unrelated channels you may not even watch. It's no coincidence that this usually happens before a big television event or premiere, knowing this would inconvenience viewers the most. They may even run ads suggesting viewers switch TV providers, knowing full well that those other providers are stuck in the same boat, paying fees to the same broadcasters. Switching TV providers is not the answer. While TV companies have different contract expiration dates with broadcasters, all TV companies face the same problem. Unfortunately, the broadcasters keep asking for more and more money for signals available to some for free over the airwaves. 
They do this with disregard to the fact that many Americans rely on satellite TV companies to receive their local channels because they live too far away from the broadcaster's signal. The negotiations keep happening because an outdated ruling from Washington forces satellite and cable companies to pay for these free signals. So the broadcasters actually figured out how to get paid twice, and they've been getting away with it. They get money from the TV providers, and they get paid more by advertisers because they're getting a bigger audience. From the way broadcasters have been increasing prices, they seem to think that they have access to nearly unlimited funds. The broadcasters have a monopoly, and they're taking advantage of that. The TV providers are working together to stop the broadcasters from raising prices to numbers almost too big to believe, numbers that directly impact your monthly television bill. What kind of numbers are we talking about? Broadcasters have raised prices by as much as 40% per year, multiple years in a row. During the same period, annual cable and satellite bills only increased 5% per year on average. To put it into perspective, imagine if the $3 gallon of milk bought from the grocery store three years ago cost more than $8 today. Something needs to be done before that gallon of milk costs $12 or more the following year. The satellite and cable companies are negotiating to keep prices down. And with help from the government, outdated rules can be changed to end broadcaster blackouts. You should have access to local channels, but at a fair price. And TV providers like this one are working around the clock to make that happen. Check out this website for more information.